On my recent trip to Israel, we visited the Shuk at Machane Yehuda, and that's always a tremendous experience, watching the give and take, seeing all of the incredible produce that's being sold, the baked goods, smelling the baked goods, and seeing every different type of virtually every different type of food or even dry good that a person may need sold at Machani Yehuda. So we're standing by one of the stalls that is selling nuts and there was probably a, a dozen or so varieties of nuts being sold and some of them I recognized and some of them I didn't and I all of a sudden saw the person who was standing next to me start to taste uh, the various nuts one, a second, a third I thought to myself, wait a second, you could just taste the nuts here? How does this work? So I asked the vendor, I said, could you taste the nuts? So he said to me, ti'ima, meaning, I said, what do you mean by ti'ima? Ti'ima means a taste. He said, achat, one is considered to be a ti'ima. He said, more than one, your term is as achila. But having more than one is considered to be considered to be achila, considered to be eating, and that you have to pay for. And so you're able to taste one nut just to know if you want to buy it or not, so you can understand what it tastes like. But more than that, one is not permitted to taste. So the Baal Shem Tov, Zechetzarek Levracha, explains that this, this occurrence, he explains as a mashal to the mitzvah that we find in the beginning of Parshas Bechu Kosai. In Bechu Kosai Telechu. Hashem says, if you follow my chukos, if you follow my laws, my judgments, the result will be, V'nasati gishmechem bi'itam. Hashem says He will make sure that we have rain at the proper time. V'nasna ha'aretz yivula, and the land will sprout forth with all it needs to bring for us. V'yetz asada item pirio, and the fruits of the, the trees will bring forth their fruit. Everything will be wonderful. V'yishavdem ala aretz lavetach. And we will sit on the land securely and safely. So Rashi comments, what does im b'chukosai telechu mean? What does it mean that we should walk and follow in the judgments and the in the path of God? So Rashi says, Shetiyu Amelim Batora. That we should be Amelim. Amelim is to to be grounded in Torah. And so the Baal Shem Tov explains that this example of the Shuk and Machna Yehuda, although the Baal Shem Tov wasn't talking about that, I I was. The Baal Shem Tov explains that a marketplace where a person is able to taste. He says, very much compared to the idea of learning Torah simply just to gain one simple taste of Torah versus internalizing and putting a sense of amelos into one's learning of Torah. Being invested in Torah is what Hashem wants from us. Having Torah ingrained into our system is what Hashem wants from us. Not simply just taking a little taste and walking away. Naturally, when we even have a little taste, will feel good, will enjoy the fact that the Torah that we've learned and the Torah that we've been able to bring forth and perhaps tell to others. But the mitzvah of Amelus Batorah is really investing oneself in one's time, one's energy, and making Torah a part of a person. And as we approach the Yom Tov of Shavuos, the time, Zman Matan Torah Seinu, the time of the giving of our Torah, we have to ask ourselves a question of how is our approach to Torah on a regular basis? Do we simply taste Torah like we taste a nut if we know that we want to buy it? Or are we eating Torah? Is Torah part of that which allows us to exist every day? We all know that if a person doesn't eat every morning, if they don't eat breakfast, if they don't eat a number of times a day, a person doesn't have the koach, the energy, to be able to do anything else so too when it comes to that which we put into Torah. If we invest ourselves to Torah, if we make Torah part of who we are, just like we need food as human beings, just like we need water, a Jew also needs Torah as part of our lives. And if we do so, if we invest ourselves in Torah, Hashem will bless us with all that we need, continued bracha, continued blessing for our own livelihood, for our health, and for everything that we need in life. Thank you for listening and have a good shot.